off of Osiris Rex. Seven years after a NASA spacecraft set off on a mission to explore an asteroid and retrieve a sample, the rocks salvaged on Bennu are finally arriving on Earth. It's an historic moment for Canada because it's the first time we've ever received material from space, and researchers believe there's a lot to learn. What's really exciting about this particular asteroid is that it's full of carbon. Bennu was born around the same time our solar system formed, and data shows it contains carbon as well as hydrogen and oxygen, the building blocks of life. And that means this sample could help us answer questions about how our planet and others were created. It's almost like, you know, a snapshot in time from 4.6 billion years ago. Canada was instrumental in selecting the sample being brought to Earth using the OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter. Our researchers created a model that helps scientists determine the conditions on Bennu's surface and pinpoint the best location for a sample. Where is the best sample to get from a scientific point of view? The sample will be stored under nitrogen in a sterile environment to protect against contamination. Canada will receive only about 4% of the estimated 250 grams of material collected from Bennu. But experts say it's enough to make big discoveries. These rocks are a record, like rings on a tree, of what was happening in our solar system when Bennu was created. And unlike meteorites, which can sit for days, months, or even years before they are found, they haven't been worn down by wind or water. So this story is telling us um, about the conditions that were there, the different pressures, the different temperatures, the different um, uh, environment that would have been occurring at that time. This sample could bring decades worth of discoveries, especially as technology improves. And it's not the end of the road for this mission either, as the spacecraft goes off to discover a second near-Earth asteroid, Apophis. Alyssa Julie, Global News, Toronto.